Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You, and today we're taking a look at the Rolex Milgauss. Now, this watch has quite an interesting history behind it, as it was initially designed to be anti-magnetically resistant. It was one of the first anti-magnetic watches. It was made for scientists or people who work with a lot of like electromagnets and things like that, MRIs. This would be a great watch. Um, this would have been a great watch. Um, and it is, hence the name, Milgauss. So Gauss is a measure of anti uh, magnetic field intensity, and mil signifies a thousand. So this is anti-magnetically resistant, or the original was anti-magnetically resistant to a thousand Gauss. Now it's a little bit more anti-magnetic. Um, and it, that whole anti-magnetic history behind it kind of adds a whole other layer of sort of um, significance to the watch because it doesn't appear to be that complicated of a watch. It's not quite as striking as a Submariner, although it is one of my favorite Rolexes just because it has that history behind it. So let's dive right into the case aspects of this watch and explore a little bit more de um, sort of the details of this watch. So this watch comes on the with the Oyster case, like many other Rolexes. It does not have the rotating bezel. This is the newest version. Um, they actually did have versions uh, decades ago that did have the rotating bezel, and those are very, very valuable now. They look super cool. I highly su suggest you look them up. Um, but this just does not have that rotating bezel. It comes with that Oyster case. It is water resistant to 100 meters. Uh, which is aided by this screw down crown. So now let's actually go over the bracelet, which is one of the most comfortable bracelets I've ever experienced on a watch. It's like this, the brand new Submariner bracelet, which I've actually never worn. Um, so I imagine that's very comfortable too, but it's just, it's super, super high quality finishing too on that bracelet and the overall case. It's got the polished edges. And then on the back, there's the standard brushing on the case back there. Um, and then moving on to the clasp, it's got a really, really interesting clasp system where instead of like having that little safety um, kind of ring to it that like a Submariner has so, you'd, has, so you'd pop this off to open it, it actually is on like a little spring-loaded thing. So if you can see, you just kind of push back on this and open. It opens really, really smoothly. It's very, very, very elegant, an elegant motion when you're taking on off and putting on the watch. So, moving on to the movement here, this has got the Caliber 3131 movement, which is similar to the Rolex Oyster, just standard movement. It doesn't have a date, which just I really do appreciate. It adds to the simplicity of the watch, and it just is, it's a very simple movement, although it's got, again, a lot of history behind it with that, the providence of the original uh, Milgauss. So, one of the cool aspects of a new Milgauss is the dial. So this is the white dialed version and there's also a black dialed version which you can get with either clear or green glass. I really like the green glass dial version, but uh, uh, green glass black dial. But I also really, really like this version with the white dial. It just, it's kind of like a white dial of Explorer. I mean, you just gotta love it. It's unique. It doesn't really scream Rolex. It's just very low key. and. Kind of, and as you can see on the dial, it's got the orange hand, uh, orange hour indices, and that loom actually turns green when you put it under the light, believe it or not. So it's kind of kind of strange. You kind of expect it to turn orange, but it just it's not really a patina look to it, but it just gives it a whole another interesting layer to that dial. And also, it's got the um, the lightning kind of lightning shaped seconds hand, which again uh, kind of speaks back to the original purpose. To shield against electromagnets um, and let's actually just move on to a wrist shot here to sum up the review and it looks it's very again comfortable on the wrist it looks very simple you could wear it with a suit wear it with anything because it's kind of a sports slash dress watch it's really cool I appreciate that that they did this so in summation this is a great watch very very high quality the finishing is impeccable the history is wonderful thank you for watching and remember to subscribe